this needs to have an emotional component and have the potential of somebody feeling the intensity of what it is like to be in that person's shoes. Story of Alma is um, about a woman and her daughter, and it's about a really important night in their lives. And the piece really explores the differences in their understandings of the American dream. There are a lot of things about the play that feel really personal. Um, I think the major difference was is that reflecting on sort of um, my family's own immigration story in 2016, um, there was a pathway for citizenship for my mother and her family members. And um, as part of the research for this play, I consulted with an immigration lawyer and learned about how the um, sort of process for becoming a citizen that was available to my mother then is not available to immigrants in the same situation as she was then now. Initially in thinking about this relationship, um, I was thinking about my mother and my mother's relationship to me, my mother's relationship to my sister, sort of the difference of being part of the generation that actively emigrated from one country to another, and then also um, what it's like for the first generation growing up in that country. I don't try to uh, shy away from some of the familiar aspects of culture, like say, the chancla. Um, in my household, we didn't have a chancla per se, but we did have our version of it, which was la paleta. And um, uh, so I think it feels really important to like represent those aspects that feel like they're invitations to people, that the world feels familiar in, in ways that can be helpful in entering a story. But I think really critical that these characters have details about them that feel very distinct and special to those individuals. But I just felt there was something really important about being able to document what a highly emotionally charged moment that was for people in terms of political affiliation. And also at that time, I remember a lot of people being like, oh, but politics aren't personal. It's not a big deal. Like this moment will pass. It's going to be fine. And sort of the um, lack of awareness or perhaps even ignorance on their part of how personal the political is for so many people um, and wanting to tell this very specific story of how um, this woman who's an immigrant would be very directly impacted by the political shift that was occurring in the country at the time. For me, growing up in this country, it was sort of like, that that mentality was in part of this is an immense privilege to grow up around so such abundance and so much opportunity, so much food. Um, but with that came this expectation that sort of like you're going to be a doctor, you know, <laughs> um, or you're going to aspire to like this, uh, like something really great that means that our family will continue to like ascend, right, and continue to like on this upward mobility and accumulate wealth and have bigger and better things and that that is gonna be part of the trajectory. And so I think it was really surprising for my family when it was sort of like, oh, I'm interested in storytelling. I really wanna be an artist. That felt like um, on one hand, uh, there was this perception of a waste of potential. Um, but also from my perspective, it was sort of like, well, my mother made all these sacrifices for me to be able to have that choice that like, I don't want to be a doctor. I would like to pursue something that is interesting to me. Um, and and I think with that, I just, uh, there was always a feeling of pressure. For me in writing the story was that I needed to make sure I went beyond the headline. That I really needed to ground this story in, uh, in a very real way. And Alma, of all the plays that I've written before and after, is the most rooted in sort of what I would call like realism. Um, because it felt really important that these characters feel as much like real people as possible to me um, when writing and hopefully then for the viewer watching them. Because I think when people are just sort of reading headlines and sort of like reading sort of a generic portrayal of, of a population, um, it's really easy to treat it as like a cerebral exercise and not feel any emotional um, component for, for people in that position. So for me, 
writing the play, I was like, this needs to have an emotional component and have the potential of somebody feeling the intensity of what it is like to be in that person's shoes beyond just reading a headline. The thing that I continue to love about this play is um, I think writing it gave me a deeper appreciation for my mother um, and for someone who sacrificed a lot to nurture me um, and make opportunities for me that were not available to her. And so I think that for me is like a major takeaway. I hope that people come away sort of being like remembering the people who have nurtured them, um, given them opportunities, sacrificed for them, loved them fiercely. And um, and I always say that if like this play has any kind of impact on, on an audience member, I hope that they call their mom after watching it. That's like my biggest hope for it.